I just hacked Apple's new AI AirPods feature, but instead of paying $300 for it, I used free AI tools to build it myself. In this video, I would like to show you everything. First of all, a live demo of what this sounds like. Second, I'm going to show you how to build it on the back end, the softwares I used and the prompts. And third, I want to show you real business use cases of how this technology is already helping companies to handle guests from all languages and streamline operations and customer support. If you are new to the channel, then welcome. My name is Liam. Apart from fun stuff like this, I actually help companies use AI to save quite a lot of money every single year. If you would like to learn how you can work with me and do the same for your company, then there will be links down below to book a free AI consultation call. There are only three spots available for this video, so I hope to see you in there, and now let's dive into the live demo. Here we are inside of Vapi. Vapi is one of the AI agents I want to show you in this video, and there's going to be a couple other softwares that I can use to track all of the calls and messages, but that will become more interesting later when we look at real world use cases. Beforehand, you can see there's a dashboard over here. You can do a bunch of stuff. I'm actually going to share this prompt with you in the description. You can download that for free. And I'm going to walk you how to set all of these things up in the next half of the video. But beforehand, let me actually give this a call and show you what it would sound like. So all we have to do is call a phone number right here. Welcome to class PNB. What languages should I translate? Yeah, um, I, I'm here with a guest who only speaks German. And translate from English to German, please. Right, I will translate between English and German for you during the call. Please proceed. Uh, ich habe ein Problem mit meiner Waschmaschine. Es blinkt ein Licht und sie geht nicht an. I have a problem with my washing machine. There is a light on and it won't turn on. Oh, okay. Have you tried um, twisting the knob, pressing it for three seconds and then refreshing? Haben Sie versucht, den Knopf zu drehen, ihn drei Sekunden lang zu drücken und dann neu zu starten? Ah, okay, das habe ich noch nicht probiert. Dankeschön. Ah, uh, okay, I haven't tried that yet. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, you're very welcome. Let me know if that works and then you can, you can otherwise come back and uh, we can fix it for you. Lassen Sie mich wissen, ob das funktioniert. Andernfalls können Sie zurückkommen und wir können es für Sie reparieren. Okay, thank you. All right, so that was a quick demo. Let's say you were, for example, in an Airbnb, and the reasons why most people don't want to travel to foreign countries is because what if something goes wrong and you don't speak the language? Well, this actually bridges the gap, right? I just called it and said, look, I'm here with a guest. He speaks German. Can you translate for me? And as you can see, it's... I mean, these things, they sound amazing. And this is literally, literally only scratching the surface of what this can do. I've built a full AI customer support agent, which can actually make decisions, rank different maintenance levels and uh, book them straight into your system. If you want to watch that, I'll link it up here. But uh, yeah, this is a, a very, very cool tool and something that has real world use case. Now, let me show you how this is set up in the back end, because it's also, uh, it's not very hard, but it's very interesting to see. So in Vapi, you've got a few different settings, right? If you create a new assistant here, you can call it whatever you want. Then you have a bunch of different settings. And I'm just going to walk you through the settings that I have here. So first of all, you can see which AI model do you want to use, right? OpenAI, for example, GPT-4.0 cluster is great for this. Then you can choose who speaks first, the assistant or the customer. Uh, in this case, we've given it a generic welcome message. And then in the prompt, you have a few things that I'll walk you through. So for example, uh, you've got uh, the role section telling it who it is, the context, where it works, specifics, how it's supposed to work, um, which languages it can speak, and so on. So it's, a, it's, it's not a hugely complicated prompt, but it's cool to just have this structure in it as well. And if you want to just copy paste the prompt, once again, I'll leave it in the description for you to download. Now, the interesting thing here is that we have a specific voice we need to choose and also a transcriber. So the voice in this case is from 11 Labs. Now, there's many different AI voice providers, but 11 Labs allows you to pick a custom voice. In this case, it's this one here. It's a just a voice ID that I copied over. You can go to 11 Labs voice library and then choose. you can just create a free account and then choose of their many different voices. And for example, if you just search for, I don't know, let's search for Italian, right? then you can even choose accents, uh, the gender and so on. But you'll see here, for example, this first one, Italian plus 22. It speaks all of these languages. 
Now, of course, in real world scenarios, we would set this up slightly differently that we'd make many different agents with one language each. But for the purpose of this video, you can just grab one of these voices, or you can just literally copy the voice ID that I have here and input that by using add voice ID manually, check that and then input it over here. Right, so you just click that and then you paste that into there. Now for the transcriber, it's also important that you select something like DeepGram multilingual uh, version three, because in that case, it can actually understand many different languages. Now, once you have that, the AI has now got a prompt, right? It understands the assignment. It has a voice which can speak different languages. And you've also set the transcriber to actually make it understand those languages. Because the way this works is when you speak, there's first of all something that turns that text and that speech into text, which is this, that needs to be multilingual, then the AI model writes an answer. And then this voice has to be able to actually pronounce and say the answer in that language. So those are the few things that you'd have to take into account. And that's that's pretty much it, then you're done. And this is very cool. Now you just have to make sure that you select the right voices that have the right criteria, there's different qualities of voices and all of that. But Overall, this is a very basic setup to get something like this to work. Now, I've actually gone one step further. Let's say this was actually a real world use case for an Airbnb, then it would be nice to be able to track how people use it. And for that, you can go into the analysis section under structured data, and then ask it to extract the category and the different languages spoken. And then that will look something like this for you, we can put that in a spreadsheet once the call. Uh, once the call ends, I've got a little automation set up here in N8N that basically sends uh, information to uh, this server here, and then puts it into uh, into Airtable. And as you can see, it sends across a bunch of different, a bunch of different uh, bits of information, uh, including things like the call ID, date and time, from where was it calling, the category that I just talked about, right, the duration, cost, and so on. And we can put that into Airtable. Now, the nice thing about Airtable is you can also build dashboards here. And then this is what a business owner would see, for example. From all the calls that we got, people asked about bookings 26% of the time, 20% uh, of the time was general questions. You can see the different categories, right? And this is what the AI extracted. This is what I talked about here, we can give it a few different options if a customer asked about a booking question, general inquiry, maintenance, and so on. And then once the call hangs up, it decides which one of these does the call fall under, and then it adds it over here, right, it just basically adds a, a row to the Google sheet, and then categorizes it into the category, uh, which different languages were spoken, how long was it, how much did it cost, uh, you also get summary transcript, you can even listen back to the call if you'd like to, which is pretty cool. And then you have this dashboard here, which is nice. And then you can see, these are the top languages that were spoken. This is the kind of information that my guests are most interested in. And literally by giving them a tool that allows them to actually feel safe and ask these questions, you can simultaneously gather data that to then improve, you know, um, guest experience, or we could even have another AI on the back of this, that notices we have an unusual amount of people complaining that their dryer is broken, let me organize for a new drying company or for a new drying supplier to, um, to improve the, the quality of that specific property. So as you can see, this is a very entry level thing to build, I've built many, many more things that you can take a look at. But uh, yeah, it's a very cool initial concept that anyone can explore and have some fun with. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, then make sure to leave a comment down below on how you think this technology can help other people. Once again, the prompt is linked down below in the description completely for free, just download that and put it into VAPI. Once again, if you would like to work with me, there are also links down below to book a free AI consultation call. I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you in the next video.